Manipur today is a state divided. The conflict between the Methi and the Kuki, representing over 60% of the state's population, has raged for 50 days. The rest, approximately 35 to 40% of the population, is also uh, involved indirectly in the fallout of this conflict. The divisions are political, physical, socio-economic, uh, and even spiritual. The one thing that unites all the communities and everyone here in Manipur at present is uh, an end to the over 50 days of internet shutdown that has led to severe complications and restrictions on people's lives. Before we get further into this story, let's listen in to what a cross-section of the people of Manipur had to say on the subject of the internet shutdown. जरूरत पड़ने से भी पैसा नहीं निकाल सकता है यही है प्रॉब्लम अभी ये बिकॉज़ इतना सारा डिजिटल शुरू हुआ है ना सब कुछ पेटीएम गूगल पे ये सब पे चल रहा है कितना टाइम से नहीं चल रहा है अभी अचानक से सब बंद हो गया तो किस टाइप का प्रॉब्लम फेस कर रहे हैं सब प्रॉब्लम तो प्रॉब्लम ही हो गया ना आप क्या करते हैं एम्प्लॉय है गवर्नमेंट का गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय यस तो पैसा डालने में भी प्रॉब्लम होता है निकालने में प्रॉब्लम होता है इतना सारा क्यों है सभी एटीएम में पैसा नहीं डालता जो तकलीफ होता है सभी का सभी सब तकलीफ तकलीफ होता है क्या करें कैसे मैनेज कर रहे हैं फिर आप थोड़ा थोड़ा किसी से भी उधार लेके किसी से लेके ऐसा ही कर मैनेज कर Selling a visit uh, like vegetables, not just vegetables. Okay. You use Paytm or Google Pay? In your I Google use Paytm, Phone Pay, Google Pay, but all it's there. it's all shut down. Yeah. So it's affecting our business in many ways. Mm. Transaction has been all shut down and it's all been you know closed down. So mm. we're having a very big difficulties. It begins from Tarun May, and the internet is blocked in fall of May. And then uh, followed by the curfew, you know, and it has it has affected our business in many ways. I think many customers would have been paying by Google Pay and Paytm and things yes, like yes. that also because small transactions. Uh, government was also pushing for digitization. Uh, do you think that will if, even if you do open, it will reduce the number of customers who will be able to come because people also don't have cash to spend. Yes, yes. So Obviously, it will affect uh, the business. Uh, not many people pay by cash. Uh, Nowadays, uh, uh, they they prefer uh, paying this one uh, UPI payment and then uh, car payment. So most of our customers didn't pay by cash. What percentage of the customers roughly can you say would have paid by cash? Not more than thirty percent. Side effect in terms of not able to people are not able to pay. Um, without I mean with cart or any UPI things uh, because more I would say more than 50 percent of the every day that the, the people payments are done through yeah, online like uh, UPI and other things so now with without that and there was a lot of challenges with the ATM with the cash issue and I think that really affected in many ways if if people comes also they have to have cash now so sometimes it's difficult to have cash without like proper ATM facilities and other things here. Yeah. yeah, and people are, I guess are keeping whatever little cash they have for emergency For emergency, situations, that's, for, true, that's true. For, right, not for... Not for luxury or coffee or, or something, yeah. yeah. They banned the internet on that three evening. Hmm. But if you see the situation, it's almost like two months. Going to be two months now. But it's getting worse and worse. There's no use of internet ban. Hmm. And the main behind the internet ban is they try to hide the truth. Because if you, that, the transparency of that government is not revealed now. Hmm. The problem is that when, if, it's, if they open the internet, I hope that the, tra the transparency and everything would, should be revealed. Hmm. So, and for the study purpose that it really affects this banning internet for suppose, we cannot download and print out this UPSC admit card also for like poor people for us. Mm. We cannot went to we cannot afford and study abroad also. Mm. We have only this state. Mm. Our option is only this state. Mm. But even in our state also we have no place for us. Mm. That is the main problem we have.
तो आपको लगता है इंटरनेट बंद करने से कुछ फायदा है नहीं, अभी इतने नहीं, दिन नहीं फायदा नहीं है बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो रही है कुछ लाइन ब्लॉक हो गई हम कैसे काम करेंगे कैसे इंफॉर्मेशन मिलेंगे ये तो स्टेट का बात है तो कोई कोई बच्चा लोग सेंटर के सब एग्जाम देने वाला है ना उसके एम कार्ड और उसका जाने के लिए और बहुत डिफिकल्ट है जैसे अभी एन का वो यू जी एग्जाम हाँ कोई कोई बच्चा तो लोग एग्जाम दे रहा है ना जा पाए थे दे पाए थे एग्जाम या काफ़ी का रह गया है एग्जाम कैसे क्या देता था? था लेकिन बहुत मुश्किल से देता था ना उसका एम कार्ड मिलना तो नेट का जरूरत है ना बिना नेट के हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते हैं ना कुछ जगह दूर दूर जाना पड़ा है फिर यहाँ सेंटर भी देता है लेकिन वो इसकी लड़ाई के दर से हमको कहीं दूर दूर जाना पड़ता है इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम दीज बेसिक टेस्टमनीज और वॉइसिज ऑफ द पीपल दैट द लैक ऑफ एक्सेस टू द इंटरनेट इज कंपाउंडिंग द मिजरी दैट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बाय द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इट सेल्फ सो ऑन द लीगल फ्रंट फाइव पिटिशन हैव बीन फाइल्ड विद द मणिपुर हाई कोर्ट दैट इट इज हियरिंग ऑन एन अर्जेंट बेसिस दीज इंक्लूड वन रिट पिटिशन एज वेल द कंटेंशन ऑफ द पिटिशनर्स इज दैट द बैन which is essentially an indefinite ban that has now run for over 50 days is illegal uh, in the way the state has employed the ban uh, they have completely sort of ignored the directives of the supreme court in the context of the anurag bhasin case uh, of uh, regarding internet shutdowns which is a landmark judgment uh, in this context essentially the entire population of manipur has been denied uh, its fundamental rights because of this shutdown Uh, in even in districts where there have been no reported incidents of violence uh, including districts like tengnopal where from the beginning from may 3rd no violence has been reported no internet access is available to common people uh, the internet is only accessible in government offices such as the dc's office or the dc's office complex in the state and people have to travel there sometimes many many miles to do basic things like small banking transactions as well as more important things Uh, like school exams and uh, school results applications and everything that is now uh, that now requires some kind of digital process to be completed uh, in that context the next hearing at the high court is on the 23rd and the petitioners are hopeful that the high court will uh, take notice of the kind of impact that everyday people are facing and uh, sort of quash uh, this uh, directive or these orders by the state that have been in force since the evening of may 3rd newstick will also be presenting a detailed story on the legal aspects of this case uh, very soon so stay tuned keep watching our reports uh, from manipur